Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are day vlogging. I am uh, looking around, making sure I got everything I need for worky work. I think I do. I think I got everything I want to take. So we're going to go ahead and head out. Um, Trying to think if I got on enough stuff. I feel like it's now or never. I need to change. No, I think I'm good. Um, I think the low tonight is just 50. 50 is child's play for me. I can I can get down with 50. 50 is good. All right, so we're going to head out, girl. Start our work day. Hopefully, it'll be a good day. Of course, I worked to last night, and last night turned into be the longest night ever. You know, I usually go in at 4.30, but I was asked to come in early. So I got there an hour early, girl, only to get off at 4 a.m. My normal shift is 4.30 to 1 a.m., but I didn't get home to after 5. But I clocked out at 4, but it was just bananas. Bananas. But nonetheless, it was cool, though. I don't mind the overtime sometimes. It's, it's it's kind of nice. But right now, since I haven't had anything to eat as of yet, I've only had um, a cup of coffee this morning. So I'm going to grab some lunch. I'm trying to watch my figure. So we're going to grab some salads. Salads for lunch. I'm going to pick my friend Otis up real quick. And then we're going to have lunch together. Then I make our way back to work. Okay. Because Otis is in town again. And we enjoy working together. It's quite fun when Otis is in town. You know what though? Like Otis is that one friend, you know, that you can just hang out with outside of work. Whereas you have, you know, your work friends. But it's just that you only hang out with them and befriend them at work. You just don't have interest in hanging out with some people after work, you know. Yeah, it's that. Oh, let me keep going. Keep going. Yes. The light stayed yellow. Yeah, I'm almost there. We got like an hour to eat, but yeah. But you know what? Why I got your attention, I'm gonna bring up something that I was asked by one of my guy friends who happens to be white. And but we're not gonna make this a white or a black thing. We, we're definitely not. Bitch, what? What? Who are these folks out here? Boy? They just don't know what they want to do. Um, ask me. Why is it that black women are always frowning? You know what? I used to hate it when people would say that to me. Like, you should smile more. But I'm, I feel like I'm always smiling. But I make it a conscious effort to always try to look pleasant when I'm in public or when I'm, um, when I'm at work. Sometimes, like, if I'm out shopping, it's just what it is. I'm focused. I'm not trying to be you know aesthetically pleasing to the others i'm just in here to get what i need to get and get on out here but i do feel like people in general not just black women but women in general men too i think we should just try to be a little more uh present as well as pleasant when we're at work i feel like a lot of times these people are just there you know and they forget that they're at work and then when the patrons or the passengers or whatever the customers come up for information or needing your assistance now mind you you are at work i mean you always got to have some type of little attitude like why is that and i don't think that's just a black thing i think it's just a people thing we as a people tend to just do that but more times than not now sis I, you probably do it too i just feel like sometimes the black women can be a little more confrontational than needed. I, I I never really understand that, and they and they are like that with both, you know, the patrons, the customers, the passengers, or whomever, and even their coworkers. Like, why does that have to be a thing? I just wish and feel like 
a lot of times we just need to relax and, and just realize that these people aren't trying to attack you in any kind of way. They're really just there to get the information. They're really just needing the help. It shouldn't be taken personal. So just doesn't kill you just to smile and look a little pleasant. And then you have those passengers that are always appreciative of your smile and of your happy demeanor and then they give you little little treats like you know some people walk around with little bags of candy and all this kind of stuff now not necessarily should you eat it all the time and take these gifts but just take it anyway and just know that they gave it to you because you were sweet you were kind and you made their day and they actually feel like you helped them so you made them happy or even more confident and comfortable during their journey. And then you will have those that will see you particularly getting these gifts and get mad. But if you had have done the same thing, you would get those recognitions and those little small tokens from these people too. Just, just do it. It doesn't kill you. Just be a little more nicer and pleasant. But some people, just it just kills them just to be nice. Like, why? Just be nice. It goes a long way. And standing there frowning up, child, don't be frowning. Just try to smile. I'm telling you, a smile will help a lot of you, honey. Just smile. Makes your face look better. You know, gives your cheeks a lift. Just smile. It makes you happy. If, even if you don't even feel like it, just smile anyway. Just fool yourself into thinking you're happy. And maybe you will just be happy. Just be happy. People need to learn to just be happy and don't dwell on stupid stuff while at work and stop picking miscellaneous fights with people that is just crazy to me how some people are just so miserable that they just find stuff and make stuff just to bicker and complain about Ugh, that is just so unattractive it's just the worst ever i personally can't i, I just don't like standing around that type of thing and i'm one of those people i had much rather stand alone than be around people that are just loud talking and doing the most, uh, just talking about stuff that they really shouldn't be talking about as it pertains to other people's business and all that type of stuff. I just think that it's just so coothless, just coothless. <laughs> no, you said you didn't want slim chickens. Really? You said you though. I promise you I said I was going to do a salad. But like I said, we can do slim chickens. But I like, I like Chipotle. You want it? Okay. Okay, I get that, but I'm saying. Thank you. Yo, Otis think he knows me. He's trying, he said he's gonna order mine. He thinks he knows my, what I like. We're gonna see though. We're gonna see if he gets it right. <laughs> you got it? So Otis and I just pulled up to McDonald's for a coffee break. 
McDonald's is swinging right now. Like, McDonald's is, like, one of the only restaurants that's, like, open on my side of town. Like, everything on this street closes at 8. So, everybody's usually pressed for dinner around this time of night. But, yeah, it's about to be a long night for us. Comes out, this is what I... What I call it? What y'all had to? You had to brew the shit yourself. Bro. <laughs> like what Man, the hell? Yeah, I had to go back and tell her, like, yo. Like, I done seen like seven, eight people go get their shit before I did. I'm like, bro, I just got, th I just got three drinks. Everybody got fucking burgers, nuggets. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. She was like, she made you an iced coffee. Hell yeah, I want that shit, bitch. I don't like it. Give me all that shit. Wait, wait 30 minutes for, for, for two yeah. coffee drinks. Yeah, give me every fucking thing and you got in there. Matter, matter of fact, give me one of the blueberry muffins in that bitch. I don't love it. Like, that, that's what I'm telling you. Walmart be swaying. Like, well, I just called it Walmart. Shit. Walmart, McDonald's. Walmart it's the same shit. thing. Same thing. The Walmart of fast food. I'm about to say this Crazy. Cool He's about to be in this bitch forever, too. <laughs> Little ice coffee it looks good. Yeah. Tell me about it. It looks like it's gonna be sweet as hell, though. <laughs> Is yeah, it? Yeah, Is it real sweet? Yeah. Like a stomach ache in a cup. All right, so we are in a pickle tonight at work because, like I said, we've been shorthanded for a while. Both things are on a positive note. We are getting better and we have been hiring and we have all kinds of new hires coming in, but no one's quite trained, you know, all the way. But nonetheless, we have two super delays. We have people still sitting up at the gates, you know, in the concourse since, you know, 5.30, 6 o'clock. They're still in good spirits. That's what I mean. So if you show up to work and you're nice and sweet and smiley, you know, that helps keep a sense of calm. So they're all still sweet, still very patient and just patiently waiting. So when I go up with a good attitude, they have a good attitude. So it just works out. I just gotta go back up and keep them um, entertained and smiling. But my next plane is gonna be on the ground here in just about um, 10, 13 minutes. So I'm gonna grab that one, bring them in, run back down to baggage service office to check on baggage, make sure everybody has their bags, everybody who came in is happy. Then we'll run back up, smile sweetly, talk to the passengers, keep them entertained, keep them you know in good spirits because a lot of times um when this happens i meet a lot of first time flyers this is always their first time and something like this happens to them and now they're on this super delay and now they're scared they're usually super young people or older people so it's just it's just comforting to be nice to them so they can feel like they're still having a pleasant travel experience you know I promise you, I bleed coffee if I were to be injured. I would bleed coffee or Coke. <laughs> All right, I'm sneaking down to an empty part of the concourse so I can use the bathroom. So I can be back down at my gate to bring this plane in without you know having to stop and answer a bunch of questions and you know not that I don't mind them but I gotta have my little bathroom break in because things are gonna be running real fast after this Gonna position at the jet bridge and get ready to let everybody off.
year very well. Oh yeah, so our plane just arrived. We gotta make this quick, quick, Otis. Quick, quick. Yeah, because they want to be out of the gate at 11.43. Uh, let me double check. Yeah. Not yet, but we'll, we will be right here, though. Mm-hmm. 
They told me to be quick. They want to be off the gate by 11.43. So I'm going to go and check with them and see if they'll be ready early. So we'll be bored here soon. And you're checking for 33.59, my last one, right? Okay. Okay, yeah, that one. That one. Gotcha, gotcha. I know, it's horrible. I show only one. Okay. Okay. All right, girl. I'm gonna go check with the crew, see if they are ready, honey, for these passengers because they are ready to go. They have been sitting here since like five, but their destination of Dallas has been having weather, so that's what we're going through. It's weather. About what time did you guys want me to send them down? About what time? Like how many minutes? You ready now? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Because at this time, we would like to begin the boarding process for American Eagle Flight 3792 with services into Dallas. At this time, we invite our concierge key members to board now or at any time during the boarding process for American Eagle Flight 3792 with services into Dallas. Group 1 is now welcome to board. Group 2, Group 3, Group 4, Priority Groups 1 through 4, welcome aboard. Oh, no, I'm on. <laughs> I know I could do that. Two D. Just get on. Just get on. <laughs> what seat? Oh, four F. Four F. All right, got you on board. What seat do you have? I have eight D. Got you on board. Thank you. Thank you. Group five is now welcome to board. Group six, group seven, group eight, group nine, all remaining passengers welcome aboard flight 3792 with services into Dallas. What seat do you have? It's not reading that. Eight F. Gotcha. Eight D. All right. What seat you got? 19 D. 19 D. Got you on board. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. 19 C. Thank you for that. 19 C. 15 C. Good. Thank you. All right. We're good. 16 C. Got you. Thank you. 17 C. Thank you. 18 A. Eighteen C. Eighteen C. Fifteen D. All right. Fifteen. Seventeen A. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Oh, they told me I wanted to upgrade to the. I can stretch out my legs. Gotcha. 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 Quick question. Yes. Um, I'm going to be able to, I mean, obviously, I'm going to be able to play Turkish. It'll be, they've rebooked you for in the morning. That's what, like, everybody's having the overnight in Dallas. Yeah, do you know what time I'll be? Yeah, I can, I can probably show you. That's right. <laughs> so most everybody's overnight. Yeah. Oh, Are you on Houston? I'm going to go home and see you. Um, 8.45 a.m. departure. You're arriving at 9.44. <laughs> Yikes. No problem. You're 16D. Oh, okay. 
Okay, yeah, that's for my flight attendant. We got a flight attendant in training. Let's get you a seat. I'm going to get you changed, though. Um, she won't mind. So I remember. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, no, wait, wait. I have been down there. Like okay, right okay. now, like I'm the only, I've been the only one here for. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, she said, don't look get when you go upstairs. She said she'll be up here with me. All right. So we have to, I'm going to get you changed over, but you're good to go. Okay. Nine, eight, you. What seat have we got? This is. Two, three, D. All right, you are good to go down. Thank you. You're very welcome. What we got? All right, you are good to go. You're very welcome. 23A. Thank you, You are very welcome. Oh, what seat is not scanned? No, it won't. I have to just. 15A. You're good to go. And I do have you on board. Okay. Uh, my company switched me. I never got a boarding pass. Saw anybody at the counter. Spot. 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 Thank you. Sorry. Mm. I'm so glad somebody just tapped me on the shoulder. This plane would have taken off without me. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you just going to Dallas? I'm going, yes, just to Dallas. Okay. And then my connecting flight. In the morning for then, Albuquerque. Yeah, then okay, gotcha. In the morning, so. You're all set. Thank you. I really you appreciate it. You are very welcome. Final and immediate boarding call for flight 3792 with services into Dallas. Final and immediate boarding call for flight 3792 with services into Dallas through gate 1B. We did it. All right, so everybody's boarded up and ready to go. pins. It's 2.40, we're leaving, we made it, Otis. We completed the night, and now, morning. Good morning, Otis. <laughs>